Pinnell's case, decided in 1602, is one of the oldest cases that we still routinely study, and it's one of the earlier cases to have been reported in English rather than in Latin or Law French. The facts are fairly simple. Mr Pinnell loaned £16 to Mr Cole. Mr Cole was to make a repayment of £8 and 10 shillings, but he paid only £5, 2 shillings and twopence. Mr Pinnell sued for the rest. Cole argued that Pinnell had agreed to accept £5, 2 shillings and twopence as full payment of the loan instalment. The court found that this was not possible establishing the rule in Pennell's case, which is that the payment of a lesser amount of money cannot be good consideration for ending a debt comprised of more money. The court said, payment of a lesser sum on the day in satisfaction of a greater cannot be any satisfaction for the whole, because it appears to the judges that by no possibility a lesser sum can be a satisfaction to the plaintiff for a greater sum. However, Pinnell's case is mostly important because of the exceptions to that rule. Some of those were developed in later cases, but some were stated by the judges in Pinnell's case itself. First, the rule only applies to money. If you repay the loan with money plus something else, the rule in Pinnell's case won't apply, because the parties can give the item whatever value they like. The court said, the gift of a horse, hawk, or robe, etc., in satisfaction is good, for it shall be intended that a horse, hawk, or robe, etc., might be more beneficial to the plaintiff than money. Second, if you offer to make a part payment earlier than the whole payment was due, the rule in Pennell's case won't apply, because part of the money now might be more valuable to the creditor than all of the money later. The court said, acceptance of part payment before the day, in satisfaction of the whole, would be good satisfaction, in regard of circumstance of time, for peradventure, part of it would be more beneficial to him than the whole of it at the due day. Since that time, the common law has added other exceptions, but the principle and the exceptions still apply today, more than 400 years after the judgment. Mm -hmm.